We're on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> For the past two days, we've been eating nothing but absolute garbage, and all we've been doing is watching Iron Man and just <laughs> random movies. We're not even experiencing Japan. That's exactly what happens when you go and you try and take photos and make vlogs every single day <laughs> for like 10 days straight. Casey Neistat, I have no idea how you do it. This is just- I, Yeah, I have no idea. I, I literally am photography now. I'm, I, yeah. I literally, I'm f <laughs> I genuinely never knew that I could get filmmaking and photographied out yeah. just because we were doing it so much. I love it so much, like don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's good to just chill out and watch some Iron Man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go check out this rooftop potentially. Let's check out a rooftop. Oh, look how good looking I am. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Clyde Cam just smacked into me. Put a scratch on it. Okay, I was all excited just before, but now I'm getting kind of tense. Are we allowed to do this? Nobody said we couldn't. It's locked. Is it actually? Yeah, it's locked. There might be another fire stair. Do you reckon? Maybe. How creepy is that? Is that necessary? <laughs> it's like they're like trying to scare people into not getting on the roof. Bukhari <laughs> Sweat is a healthy beverage that smooth, smoothly supplies the lost water. It literally says sweat. That's such a bad name. <laughs> Who thought of this as a business idea to put this guy's face <laughs> on this? Oh, hello, buy the drink. Every time you buy that drink, it has that sound bite. Yeah, it has like a sound. You know those cards that you, uh, you buy from people? Yeah. Birthday cards, you open it up, it's got a little sound. Yeah. What if you press the button on the water bottle, it'll have a little sound. It's like, good, you bought my drink. <coughs> Actually, do you reckon we could get out here? Because there's a little rooftop here. It's not like yeah. as good as the other one, but... Oh, no. Is there like a lock on it? You could just put like a screwdriver in there and then we'd be set and we could get out. And I could just take it off. And then when we're done, just put it back on. Do you want to do that? We've got to find a screwdriver. Do you reckon it's worth it? Yeah, I reckon we can get some sick photos out there. Well, to be fair, we're just getting a photo and then coming back in and putting it all back together. You can't put photographers next to a rooftop and ask not to expect to break in or yeah. break out in this scenario. That's criminal. All right, let's get a screwdriver. All right. Woo! <laughs> Don't know if that worked for the transition. <laughs> it was so far away from the lens. <laughs> Wait, do it again. Do it again. All right, Wait, let's do go. I do the transition. Well, <laughs> <laughs> do I need to do it one more time. Yeah, one more. One all more. right, just let's... slap it. Just like hit it like it's a bat. It's like, all right, let's go. Dude, I don't think we're gonna find it in here. Tweezers. No, that won't work. It's like a sewing kit. Nah, I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe we should look up where a hardware store is. Just try it. There's not a lot of options. Really? One says that it's closed. The other two say I can't find the hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no way. No way. It's like perfect. It's only got like four in it. Should be right. Should we? She'll hopefully be right. Okay. See if this works. I feel like we're doing some Mission Impossible kind of stuff, and this is like a top secret kind of thing. That's one. Oh, what do you mean, Shush? I'm just gonna hear us. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Of course, it's gonna open. Surely, it's gonna open. Why wouldn't it open? We're on, boys. <laughs> We are going to go out and take photos. We have to be super quiet because I can see every single person. It's like if you walk up to their window, I could just see them. I could just look into their little apartment. What if we wear something different and will make us look like we're supposed to be here? <laughs> we have nothing. Okay, that was a stupid idea. <laughs> or we could run down there and then get the shot and then run back and then jump in and then we're good. Maybe. No. Why okay. would you do that? We'll figure it out.
I don't know if we've been spotted yet. I was just literally standing right over there. And that's directly in front of this person's room. And they were watching sumo wrestling before. <laughs> that's just a reference image. Dude, that's sick. Because I'll put that into there. Okay. Oh my god, that was very painful. <laughs> <laughs> That was a pretty sick shoot. It was very spontaneous. Literally, we finished <laughs> Iron Man just like that. I was like- <laughs> Yeah, we're watching a movie, yeah. <laughs> I just picked up the camera, I just pressed record. I was like, you know what? Let's just create something. <laughs> Who cares? It doesn't even matter how it turns out kind of thing. And this is what came out of it. So we just made a vlog just like that. I was a little bit skeptical about this because of the people that were next door. You could literally hear the people talking next door and stuff. Yeah. The photo ended up turning out really cool. And talk about your inspiration from um, Yeah, watchdogs. so obviously I started editing the photo and then I was like, oh, it could be awesome if I could do like a watchdogs edit. If you've played the game, when you hack something or when you get your phone out, there's these white lines that go around that lock onto targets. I photoshopped a helicopter into the background and Hayden's sort of like- Just like just, posing, I'm yeah, like- oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you've got the lines, it's bouncing off the satellite dish down uh, the bottom right corner. Photoshopped one line that goes behind his head and behind his body. And then he had the phone light on his face, which obviously lit up the front of him because without the lighting there, He'd just be like this black silhouette. When it comes down to like doing portrait photography and stuff, you don't have to just take a photo of someone and then just edit it up a little bit and put it out there. Like you can think outside the box a bit. That's what yeah. made this shoot so good. Question of the day. I just got a Canon 80D because my parents say how much I love taking photos, but I have no one that likes to take photos in my own town like me and it discourages me. Any ideas? You can't expect to have like all these photography and creative <laughs> friends yeah. just like that. Like no. it's very rare for something like that to happen. I like, I've been making films, I've been doing photography and stuff 10, 11 years or something. And yeah. then I met Mike only last year. Yeah, like, exactly. You, yeah. Like if you love doing something, just go out and do it because you love it. Not because you have to be around friends and stuff to make, like yeah, Creating with other creatives is awesome. Like yeah, exactly. collaborating with other yeah, people it's, it's is always so fun. fun. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, but that said, you don't need other people. But if you do want other people, then I would suggest going on Instagram, messaging people around your area. There's always people. You just have yeah. to go out and search for them. Exactly. All right, well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again, and I'll catch you next time.